Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we are going to open up a heavy base set booster pack at the very end. I'm going to tell you guys why we're going to do that, and then I'm also going to show you guys some stuff that I got in for consignment. Some of it's not Pokemon. We've got a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! and even some magic. It's been a while since I've gotten in some magic booster boxes, but I do want to show this to you guys. But let me start off here. We have a, uh, this is the Misty Tears, the, the banned version, Japanese. We obviously didn't get it on this side because it was banned on the Japanese side, but it's mainly because she has a naked silhouette. Got a Charizard VMAX from Shiny Star V. Got a Poncho wearing Pikachu, the Rayquaza. Got a nice Shining Magikarp and notes. Not a double hollow. Not the really nice one like Z and G did have. We've got a Charizard V. We've got a Team Rocket Japanese pack. We have a Black Triangle base set pack. And I believe that was actually from one of my breaks. We have a Raw Illustration Charizard EX. And when I pull it out, this one's in near mint condition. Got a Neo Discovery Japanese booster pack graded, as well as a base set. You guys notice uh, this long crimp here. We might go over that in the next video. We have a Suicune. This is pristine. Pretty nice looking card from Secret Wonders. And then we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Elemento, Elemental Hero Chaos Neo. So that is first edition. And then for the two Magic the Gathering boxes I want to talk to you guys about, we have Unhinged. It's kind of like a... Uh, parody type set you had unhinged unglued i think there was one that was more recent too uh then this is a pretty old box we have visions got the the square wizards of the coast logos and that's pretty much it that's it for now i do have some more stuff coming in but that's all we're going to show in this video but uh as for the base set heavy pack opening we did open up a base set heavy pack during the end of the live video if you guys were there you recall seeing the hollow when it come out look it actually looks really clean on the front side but the back side unfortunately it does have rounding issues which kind of sucks and i looked at it a little bit closer after the video and it was pretty bad so i ended up refunding benjamin he didn't complain didn't ask for the refund um so nothing against like him it wasn't him just like getting mad about the the order he's he understood that you know sometimes that happens with cards but you know he was the first one to buy a pack and have it opened up so i wanted to go ahead and give him a refund for that just just because his was open on camera um if you guys do want to buy these sealed you're still welcome able or you're going to be able to i may drop the price on them um we're going to find out though i'm actually going to open up one of these right now and i'm going to see if the next one has that same cutting issue around the edges and if it is then we're going to drop the price um if not then i'm going to just keep the price the same and i'm going to let people know that if they do buy it there is a chance that it may have rounding issues like that but we only saw it on you know we saw it on one hollow and it you know hopefully it's not on additional ones so let's open this one up and just see if it's going to be like this on the next hollow as well because if it was on one it could be on more this box right here i mean it's been pretty rough like I had the, the light packs that had the seal issue, then I've got the hollows with the card condition issue, and on top of that I had somebody going through buying all kinds of packs that I'm gonna get, I'm inevitably going to get chargebacks for because I, I'm sure it was stolen credit card information. Now looking at this next card, it does not look like it has the issues. I do see a white dot there, but one little white dot isn't necessarily, um, you know, that, that's kind of expected. Hopefully there's not a Charizard in here because I don't want to take away that chance. Then, then I might have to drop anyways. On price if we see a Charizard. Got a Weedle, Poliwag, Machop. There's a Water Energy. And a Polyrath. So we pulled a Polyrath out. That, that, that's about as bad as the Magneton. Although uh, this one is in much better condition. You can see it does have the one white dot there. The centering's not perfect, but it's not too bad. It has a very small white dot here. But overall, this is in much better condition. I'll make sure to have this one graded. So I feel confident enough to continue selling the other packs. But I wanted to open up one of these just before I did. Uh, so if you guys are interested, I'm going to show you how many packs we have left. Because um, the website technically says sold out. But we have three, six, we've got eight heavy packs. And uh, I've sent out two sealed. Yeah, no, I've sent out three sealed. Um, and then I've sold one during the live. And then I just opened one. Because there were 13 heavies from this box. So it was kind of cool. I had an extra heavy pack in there. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I should have another video coming out soon about PSA and changes they potentially made with which packs they will grade from the Watsi era.